Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another uh, video. Uh, this is uh, continuing again with uh, Docker videos here. So this is going to be how to install Home Assistant in a Docker container. So I've started transitioning a lot of stuff over to Docker as you probably already know if you've watched my previous videos. Uh, I've got uh, my unified controller over in Docker and now I'm ready to move over and install Home Assistant in Docker as well. This is actually a pretty short video so it shouldn't take very long uh, to set all this up. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. For starters we're just going to pick our uh, config directory that we'll use for Home Assistant. Once we've decided where we want to put it, we are going to install Home Assistant. Uh, once that's done, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at Portainer and make sure that our new uh, Home Assistant container is up and running and everything looks good. And then lastly, we will just uh, pull up the web GUI for Home Assistant and make sure everything looks good there as well. So let's get started. Alright, so like I said, for starters, we're just going to pick a config directory or a uh, location that we can store all of our Home Assistant configuration. Now, you don't want your Home Assistant configuration uh, to be stored inside your Docker container. Basically, uh, if something was to go wrong with that container and you needed to delete it, uh, you want to uh, be able to blow that away, create a new container, and point it at uh, your existing config, and it should come right up without any issues. In order to do that, we need to pick a directory on our host machine that we have access to that will be outside of that Docker container. So that's what we're going to do here. Uh, I think my current working directory is just going to be in the uh, root of my uh, user directory. So I think it's, uh, let's see, we'll do a pwd here. And I am in users slash Adrian. So my plan will be just to have a directory inside there that will store all of my Home Assistant configuration. So once I've made that decision, then I'm basically, that was really all for this step. I'm ready to move on to my next step. All right, so now we're ready to install Home Assistant. This is kind of a long command. Uh, so as always, I'll have everything in the description so you could just copy and paste it. But I'm going to break it out by lines as well. So we'll do a docker run dash D. I'm going to give it a name. We'll just call it has. And of course I want the container to be able to restart if anything goes wrong automatically. So we're going to set it to restart on failure. Dash V. Of course this is that volume that we were talking about before. Um, so like I said I wanted it to be in that users uh, slash Adrian directory. And I'm just going to create a directory in there called has underscore config. And since I'm listing it here, it will automatically create that directory for me and put all of my config files in it. Dash E. Just going to list the time zone. Dash P, these will be the ports that I'm using. Uh, by default, I just need 8123. And then here is the line for the actual Home Assistant install. So it'll be Home Assistant slash Home dash Assistant. And it'll take just a little bit to download. It should go fairly quickly. Uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward through it so we're not waiting around for it to finish. Alright, so let's just go ahead and see if it created that has config directory. So I was already in the Adrian directory, so I'm going to do a cd has underscore config. And we'll just do an ls. And as you can see, it automatically generated uh, 
the default files needed to run Home Assistant, including my configuration.yaml file. So, so far, so good. All right, so we're over here in Portainer. This is the web GUI that we use to manage our Docker setup here. And of course, I've got three containers now. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on containers. And there it is, has, uh, shows to be running. And it's got uh, 8123 is the port that we're using. Make sure it picked up the volume correctly. We're just going to scroll down here. Yep, there's the volume. Users, Adrian has underscore config, which we kind of already noticed by looking at it from the command line. So uh, from this point, I think everything looks good. Let's go ahead and take a look at Home Assistant uh, in action here. So we've pulled it up. Now again, we're accessing it by the host IP address of our system that's running Docker. And then of course the port that we're using is 8123. And of course I don't have anything defined in here yet because this is a brand new install. I haven't even copied my existing configuration over or anything, but everything is up and running as it should so far. That's the end of the video guys. I mean, it's a pretty quick, easy install, probably uh, shorter than even Unify controller uh, in Docker or even setting up uh, Docker itself. So it was super fast. Um, not a lot to it. Uh, again, now at this point, if you're coming from an existing Home Assistant configuration, we should be able to copy our configuration over into that directory and everything will just, uh, you know, work as it should within Home Assistant. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course for starters, we just picked a config directory. Once we decided where we were gonna put our configuration files, we installed has into a uh, Docker container. After we did that, we checked out Portainer to see what the status of our new container looked like. And then lastly, of course, I showed you what Home Assistant looked like in the web GUI. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, again, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.